Uh, so I'm going to do a quick little video about my closing, uh, closing uh, 8520 and getting it home. Um, the mill was originally in a uh, the basement of a machinist and uh, we had to break it into three different sections. Um, so the first section um, was uh, removing these two bolts on either side of the, the tower and uh, lifting this whole assembly up, including the motor. Um, I wanted to, to keep it all in one, one piece and uh, so we lifted that up and uh, ended up um, putting in a dolly, wheeling it out to a U-Haul trailer and uh, the U-Haul trailer we rented for, I think it was like 20 bucks the entire day. And then uh, that left the, uh, the tower and uh, the knee um, and uh, this whole midsection in one piece. So I didn't have to worry about uh, removing the table. And um, that was done with these four bolts and uh, so we did the same thing with that lifted it and uh, it took about three well two yeah it took about three guys to lift it and um, then uh, we wheeled that on the dolly put that in the, in the middle right over the axle of the uh, um, the u-haul uh, trailer and finally the cabinet at the base we um, went ahead and uh, just lifted that up with the dolly and wheeled it out. Then when we got it home, um, I have a uh, little overhead gantry that we were able to lift up each section. And uh, then to move it in place, I used a uh, engine lift the engine lift once this was all bolted together uh, I took the engine lift wrapped it around um, the uh, through the base there's a little um, I took two die two tie down straps and uh, fed it through the little uh, seam that's on between the cabinet and the base of the uh, the tower and uh, use the engine lift to lift it and wheel it in place and that was it and it took about uh, a good eight hours to move it from start to finish so um, and here we are thank you